He's a great American, a great member of this county, a great leader, and we hope to make him our next county executive. Please join me in welcoming Councilman Kevin Cabbage. Uh, good evening, everybody. I, I want to thank County Executive Anatolis, <laughs> Council Chair Oshevsky, and Congressman Infume for the very kind thoughts and for whom I have great respect. An event tonight, like tonight, takes a lot of volunteers to work out all the many details that make the evening a success, and I really cannot thank all those volunteers who helped uh, to put this together enough. Thank you so much. And most importantly, I could not stand here tonight without the guidance and support of my wife and family. Jill, thank you, and I love you. Well, over the uh, past several months, I've spent a lot of time traveling around all parts of our county, listening to residents and gaining insight. In, in Lansdowne, I listened as Teresa Lowry drove me to a blighted apartment complex that's ruining the surrounding area. In Catonsville, I listened to Joe Laverty as he showed me a thriving restaurant grow, and he gave me ideas to help small businesses. In Randallstown, Aaron Plymouth, Danny Blount and Pat Clark told me how their combined communities were growing stronger, but the commercial corridor needs improvement. In Stonely, I listened to Carol Allen as she told me the history of her venerable but vulnerable neighborhood. In Bowley's Quarters, Alan Roberson took me for a boat ride and showed me why the county's waterfront is our hidden jewel, but in need of care. In Dundalk, I listened to Ed Kreiser and Ron Yateman as we saw strong neighborhoods and success stories, but also room for improvement. And in Essex, I joined Captain Jerry as we helped clean the back river after decades of neglect. I also listened to Kenwood High teacher and Senator Mike Collins, who has offered ideas to improve our children's education and the environment. East, north, and west, we are a large and diverse county. But we all agree, our needs for better schools, safer neighborhoods, more jobs, and fiscal responsibility transcend geography. It's our county and our future. And in these challenging times, we need to keep our county moving forward. And so, my travels throughout Baltimore County will continue. I thank you for your support, your suggestions, your energy and involvement, both now and for me in the coming weeks of decision ahead. So please, enjoy the rest of the evening, and thanks for being here. Appreciate it.